The fight for AI dominance isn't about algorithms or servers anymore. It's about people. Top engineers are being offered 10, 50, even $100 million just to switch teams. Meta, OpenAI, XAI, they're all in. This is the AI talent war, and it's changing the future of intelligence, power, and who gets to shape it. Behind every AI breakthrough is something even rarer than data or GPUs, top-tier talent. Experts say only a few people in the world can build frontier models like GPT-4, Claude, or Gemini. Companies now treat these people like national security assets. Some even call them strategic weapons. In 2025, Meta launched a new research unit called Superintelligence. Their goal is to build AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. They pulled top minds from OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and Apple. Some were offered packages worth over $100 million in just their first year. At the center of Meta's new strategy are Alexander Wang and Nat Friedman, two heavyweights known for scaling tech. And in just a few weeks, they built a dream team, Angela Fan, a leading LLM researcher at Meta, and several engineers from OpenAI focused on reasoning and multimodal systems. According to reports from Reuters and Wired, Daniel Gross, known for investing in AI startups, Ruming Pang, former head of AI models at Apple, these hires didn't just get salaries, they were promised equity, unlimited compute, and freedom to explore their ideas. When asked about it, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman said it was fine. OpenAI didn't stay quiet. They hit back by hiring four high-ranking engineers from Tesla and XAI, David Lau, former VP of software at Tesla, Uday Rudaraju and Mike Dalton, both from XAI's infrastructure team, and Angela Fan, who appears to have returned from Meta to OpenAI. These hires are part of OpenAI's scaling team, working on a massive project called Stargate, a next-generation infrastructure platform meant to support GPT-5 and beyond. This move shows that OpenAI isn't just chasing better models, they're investing in long-term infrastructure to hold their ground. But top researchers don't just want cash, they need compute. Training a model like GPT-4 can take over 25,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs, close to a billion dollar setup. Startups and universities just can't afford that. So when labs like Meta or OpenAI offer researchers not just money, but full access to compute clusters, it becomes the deal breaker. More compute attracts better talent. Better talent builds stronger models. It's a flywheel and it's moving fast. At the Sun Valley Conference, where tech billionaires gather every summer, Sam Altman spoke about the war for talent. He said OpenAI's edge isn't just pay, it's purpose. Meanwhile, Mark Zuckerberg is reportedly reaching out to researchers personally, offering aid equity. He's not just recruiting, he's competing to lead the AI race. The message is clear. Meta isn't catching up. They're trying to take the lead. But outside of big tech, the pressure is building. Startups can't match $100 million deals. Universities can't even compete. Professors are joining labs at OpenAI or Meta. In Europe and Asia, governments are stepping in, building public GPU clusters and lobbying for shared infrastructure to avoid falling behind. The AI talent war isn't cooling down. It's heating up. And what's at stake is much bigger than money. If the smartest engineers all work for a few companies, who decides what gets built? Who owns the tools that shape our culture, politics and economy? and who makes sure they're safe, fair, and aligned with the public good. As we race toward AGI, the real fight isn't between humans and machines. It's between mission and profit, between openness and control. The war for AI's future is happening right now, in secret calls, in DMs, in offers. And the side that wins the talent war may just win the future. Subscribe for more deep dives into the biggest stories shaping AI and our world.